Hello and welcome to my next YouTube tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how I film this. So at first, some disclosure, I didn't get paid for the YouTube video, but I got paid for the spot. So if you like what I do, I would appreciate it if you subscribe and leave a like because it's showing me that you like the content I produce and I enjoy producing it and I would love to go on. So thank you. So as you saw, we're filming a spot for a sparkling wine and in this video, I'm going to show you how I filmed it. And if you're not interested in sparkling wine, maybe this video is the right one for you. This is where I filmed a headphone commercial. And when it's produced, you will find here the editing part of the uh, sparkling wine spot. So have fun with that if you're not interested in the filming part. And all the others, have fun watching. So now we have the first basic setup. It's the YBY bottle and we got the probe lens to get really close and get all the detail because we only want to see the line here that says celebrate life and then we got a sony s3 a tube light the 30c from nanlite to get a little bit of the background because it's a more like a party sparkling wine so we want to have a little party in the background and that's all of the setup so you can now see the footage that's coming out of it so as you may see now we got those those close details and Overall, I like the shot, but um, the tube light isn't isn't uh, uh, doing its best because it needs some some atmosphere. That's why I got this this atmosphere spray. You probably know it. And when the, we throw this behind the uh, bottle, it will it will instantly push the light to another dimension. We need to do a little more of it because you first have to get the atmosphere. It's an atmosphere spray. You need a little bit of it, but I got the the fire security system right above. I hope it won't react on this. I'll let you know, or we will hear. <laughs> okay, so this was the non-alcoholic uh, uh, sparkling wine. Now we got the golden one. The premium one so I'm gonna adjust the lighting so it fits to the to the colors of this bottle because this is more golden the other one the non-alcoholic is blue and the rosé is uh, rosé as you can see now we got the more goldish and golden like I don't know what to, how to say this the more golden appearing light and uh, we got the bottle in the front and the light is in the background and again I'm gonna film it and spray some aerosol spray behind so we got the the volume of the light now that we got the detail of this label for me it's most time it's important for me that I have the details of the bottles because when you got the bottles here and use them multiple times from different angles, it can sometimes happen. Sometimes happen that you uh, hurt the label and you destroy something that's viewable. You have to fix it in post, and fixing it in post is always time-consuming. So I first do the detail shots so that everything is clean and ready, and then I go with the wide-angle shots because, as I said. It's better to repair a wide angle shot because the, the dots, the problems are tinier, smaller than in the detail, of course. That's why you shoot details, because it's not small, tiny. Okay. So this is our setup number two. We got a strip light on the left and on the right. And I got the C30 from the end light again to make a nice edge. You can see it on the right side. On the left side, there's the, the mirroring of the, of the light. And I got the first bottle on the turntable. And I want to film it frontal because afterwards in the edit, I want to change it between the bottles. So we're gonna take the first shot of this bottle turning, then of the second bottle, and then of the third bottle. That's 
started with the turning shot so far. Now I uh, check the, the bottles for the most beautiful on the front part. And um, it's important because on the storyboard I plan that we see them from the side. And the cork is the word <laughs> I just, just googled. So cork, the cork is flying out and then they're coming animated bubbles out. So these are the best on the head. So we take them and now I can open them and I hope hopefully nobody's blowing out directly into my face, but eh, you, you can laugh. Give me a like if it does. We got it on the side. I already knew that we got here XOXO. So that's quite fun. And on the top, there's the YBY logo. So. That's great for our shot we planned. Stop, stop, stop! <sighs> mm -hmm. So as you can see now, we are on green screen background because we want these bottles to be separated for the opener shot and the, the, the finishing shot. So we later separating them because we want the cock to pop open and we want to animate them free in the in the screen. So that's why we need them separated. Um, it's a quite simple setup. It's a green screen paper background and a lantern from Aperture, two strip lights. And that's basically it for the shot. I'm filming vertically. So I got more, more of the bottle so I can zoom on closer. Okay, so now that we filmed the three bottles in front of the green, uh, we got the next ones. And I don't want it to have a cork because we're gonna animate it in. Because it's blowing out and blowing them out by hand wouldn't make sense. So it's animated. Uh, that's why I got the bottle without the cork here. And then we just shoot that. So for the next shot we need the cork because we want to let the cork pop out. So I checked all of those three corks I, from the bottles I opened and only this one is uh, looking the best. It's got, he's got everything we want. We got the YBY and on the side we got the XOXO and it's not too too deep, too deeply broken from the metal. So that's why I took this one. And we basically need only three photos of it to uh, uh, do the animation. But then there's coming the the most tricky shot. I'm quite confident we'll get it, but it will be a tough one. So that's the one we will need uh, use for this one too. Then, so taking the photos. Okay, so this is the most intense shot. I want the cork to be seen from the top, and then it pops out and then we fly with the camera around the cock so we can see the XO and XO on the side. I'm sure most of you know that it's not always working out as you wanted it to be so at this point it was quite difficult to get the cock as I wanted it to be with a, with a steady cam because uh, there are too many components that can go wrong. So I took a step back, rethought the situation and took the good old drilling machine and with that result I was able to work. So have a look what I changed. We're gonna start, I'm gonna film at uh, full intra 120 frames per second because I want to have a lot of range to play with in the later on for the transition and to play with the speed and ramping. So that's why we're filming on this high frame rate. <laughs> So what we got here is a, a setup with the two 30C lights to give a little bit of drama, a little bit of disco feeling and a light underneath so it's getting a little little touch from the bottom. And we use the Lova to slide away from it and then in the animation I'm gonna animate it out and the bottles come in so it gets a circle. Uh, we stay on green on the back so I can separate it from the background and yeah that's basically it. Just filming all intra again. First taking a shot of 
of the the bubbles flying around in the in the glass and then I'm gonna do one shot with the slide and then we, I can in post uh, combine them. We now arrived at the last two shots. I basically want to shoot from top to down how I pour something into the glass and then I'm gonna make a zoom transition in the in the edit and after this we're putting in the probe lens and pour something over it as if we got the zoom and at the moment when it's dipping in. Thank you very much for watching this behind the scenes of the filming part of this spot and I will soon produce the behind the scenes of the editing part because as all of my projects this also got a huge animation part with it. So I hope to see you then and if you have not I'd love again if you subscribe or leave a like and you can watch another video right here. I don't know what it is, maybe it's not produced yet but someday something will be here. So. Thank you very much and see you next time. Okay, so this was we Okay.